Well, goddamn, what's going on, fellas? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy. And for today, I wanted to take a break from all that talking and get back to that action, man. I wanted to bring you guys some more gameplay, and I figured I'd kick it off using Quicksilver because I've been mentioning him quite a lot in the past few videos. And some of you guys have been asking to see him in action. So for today, I'm gonna give you guys a clear against Proxima, Corvus, and Thanos. 45 Proxima, 49 Corvus, and 20 Thanos. I'm gonna show you guys Pietro in action. This guy, freaking beast, I'm telling you guys. And honestly, I think he's gonna be my first level 70 of 2019. I've slacked on him quite a bit, and that's not because I don't think he's deserving of his level 70, it's just that he's so strong at level 60 that honestly, I forgot that he was level 60. Like, I'm not going through my roster every day looking at the actual level of the characters. When I'm in World Boss Ultimate, I just pick my characters. I have preset teams after years of playing this game, right? I literally just know which characters I'm going to use in World Boss Ultimate, regardless of what boss it is. So, generally, I don't even look at the characters' levels, right? And it's gotten to the point where... I have so many characters at level 70 already and Pietro, one of my favorite characters in this game is still at level 60, but he's outshining most of them. Honestly, he's so freaking dominant. I got caught here by the freaking, woo, woo, woo. I wasn't paying attention there. I almost got clapped, but it's fine because we got that clutch heal. And once we get back into it and start chaining iframes again, we'll be back to full health in no time. I'm telling you guys, Pietro is a freaking monster. Being able to solidly hold down 45 at level 60 is no small feat. Honestly, I got to pay attention here because I think she's going to make it rain one more time. Usually when she gets down to like 11 bars she makes it rain twice like those lightning spears that will penetrate even iframes so you got to be careful i think we have her because we're chaining iframes pretty frequently she can't get a chance to call the rain that's good i'm a little bit behind to be honest this looks like a really good clear time but honestly usually by three minutes i have her down to seven bars already so this is actually a pretty bad run because I'm actually missing my damage proc quite a lot. And that's probably because I'm talking. Usually I play worse when I'm recording because I'm trying to like think about what I'm going to say and think about what I'm going to do in the game at the same time, right? It's pretty challenging. Anyways, let's see if we can get this thing going. I really got to try and get my... Ooh, I missed the proc again. I really got to get back on the ball. This is going to be much closer than it should be. Scarlet is definitely a big help because she's mind controlled her quite a few times in this. And I couldn't tell there whether or not I was actually hit by the freaking blade twister because of all that's going on. Honestly, sometimes it's so hard to see him. I'm literally like staring at the screen trying to make sure that I don't get clipped by one of those blade twisters. We got the proc back on the four. That's the money and the mind control. We got this, baby. It's over. Over. And if I fall, I fall up and let the clouds hug me. And if I fall down, I bet I hit the ground running. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Ooh That was so freaking close. Here I am trolling, trying to be a wild boy. And I almost got killed. That lightning rain. I can't tell you guys how many times I'm dominating and I have her almost dead and she calls the rain on herself. And when I get to the end of the fourth skill where he punches her, he runs right into that lightning blade and it just one shots him because they all stack on top of each other. You almost had a minute left here. Usually I clear this thing with a minute and a half left. So this is actually pretty slow. Alright boys, we back in. Corvus 49. Let's get it.
Yeah, bro, the bars are melting off this guy. Missed the proc there. Not good, but we have on mind control. This is good. This is good. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Damn it, I missed the proc again, bro. Yo. I'm trying to make the most out of the time that he's mind control, but because I'm trying to do that, I kept missing the proc. And oh my goodness, Scarlet blessed this again. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna go in this little phase here, so that's actually really good. But honestly, if I wasn't missing the proc, he would have already been dead here in under a minute. So this is actually a little bit slower than it should be. Still not that bad not that bad for 49 with a level 60 character i'm telling you guys the only other level 60 character that could possibly attempt to do this like this stage is probably gambit the crazy part is gambit would probably need a ctp of energy and we don't got no ctps baby we still rocking with that 180 proc that i showed you guys in the past videos man like seriously quicksilver pure savage pure savage Wake up so I can put you to sleep, guy. Your wife went down and you're going down too. Now let's see. Let's see if we can get a clutch mind control from Scarlet here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No mind control. That's fine. That's fine. The only part I have to worry about here is when he starts trying to stab you. Like when he start, Yeah, there it is. It's really annoying. One thing about Quicksilver, because he has so much dodge and he runs so fast, he's one of the few characters that can completely evade that skill. If you know when it's coming, you're pretty much safe all the time, bro. But he bleeds you for a lot when you do get hit. So it's a game of chance. You got to be careful with it. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, bro. I had to tag out there, bro. I didn't even know what was going on. It was too much on the screen, man. That's the only downside. Sometimes you can't see my guy. Let's get it. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we got the proc, too. We got this, boys. We got this. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Proc is a little bit late. Either that or I'm a little bit early. Let's see. That's good. We got it again. Yo, it looks like if I try to get the proc and yeah, I say it and I freaking messed it up. I was going to say, it looks like if we got the proc consistently at the end here, we could beat this thing faster than we took down stage 45. But I'm starting to have my doubts because <laughs> I usually get hella tense at the end here just because he usually just start spamming his fifth skill to try and blitz you right and that skill there's woo yes yeah, he had to cancel out of the freaking fort there because he's just trying to penetrate everything bro he's so freaking annoying like as soon as he sees that you have the upper end and you're about to crush him bro he just start doing the most surprisingly he hasn't spammed the fifth skill yet but knowing him, as soon as I said that, he's about to start doing. Watch him. Watch. Watch what's going to happen. Honestly, Scarlet is not popping in nearly as frequently for this fight. So we could have definitely done this. Ooh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. We could have definitely done this faster if Scarlet was popping in more with the mind controls. I feel like total, she probably popped in like maybe five or six times in this fight, which seems like a lot, but she usually pops in way more. So 42 seconds, just a little bit behind what it took us to clear 45. All right, boys, last one. The big bad Titan himself, Big Daddy Thanos, stage 20. I know stage 20 don't seem like a lot when you're able to clear 49 against Corvus and 45 against Proxima, but believe me, 20 Thanos is plenty difficult, okay? Plenty difficult. The bars may fly off of him, but believe me when I say he's doing the most. He's doing the most. And if you fall asleep for a second, you're toast, bro. So, like, against the other bosses, when I'm using Pietro, I can chill, bro. But, yo, when I'm up against Thanos, bro, knees weak, 
palms are sweaty because I know that one mistake is all it takes to ruin an entire run and waste five minutes of my time and give me a headache while I'm at it, bro. I promise you. Like, the only time I run this guy is when he's the boss of the day. That's it. I never go up against him just to challenge myself like I do against the other bosses. Screw that, bro. And honestly, I'll tell you guys, do the same thing. If he's the boss of the day and you want to maximize CCF, do that. Okay? But otherwise, stay the hell away from this guy unless you have a lot of free time and you don't mind getting a migraine after. Honestly. Sometimes I come in here when he's the boss of the day and I'm like, let me experiment with a new team today. And three hours later, I'm there. Just endless deaths, bro. And just being dead mad. Thank God I don't stream this game, bro. If I stream this game, you guys would realize why my intro says, let the rage consume you, right? Most of you guys would probably unsubscribe if I freaking started streaming this game when I was practicing with some of these teams. Right. I may make it look easy when I perfect playing with the character. But believe me, guys. Believe me. The before is pretty freaking terrible. Pretty freaking terrible. Like, there's hours. Like, my eyes are bleeding and I'm just dead mad. Just screaming at my phone like a lunatic. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was real close i had to cancel the force kill there because he was gonna blitz me and that's basically a one shot when you're using quicksilver honestly there's a 50 percent chance that you can just run through the entire force skill and the force skill because it moves around so much it will help you evade that whole thing and in the off chance that you don't evade it you'll dodge it but honestly for me if i'm in the force skill I either cancel it with the two to run around and then start running like crazy or I tag somebody else in like Phil Coulson and sacrifice this clown. That's it, bro. That's it. Like, if you want to be a wild boy, then sure, let the four play out. There's a 50% chance you'll survive. But honestly, 50 is not good enough, bro. I want 100%. So I'm going to cancel that shit or I'm going to tag somebody else in and let them die. This is actually pretty close. Oh shit, bro. I hate when he puts his back against the wall and starts firing that beam because there's nothing you can really do woo, to effectively evade it. This is being, oh my goodness. It's probably one of my hardest runs here. I'm not sure if it's because I'm talking or if it's because of the positioning of this freaking guy, bro. Like, there's no, <laughs> there's no reason why. Oh my good, bro. This guy's doing the most, bro. This guy's trying to dust me. Hold up. I can't let him put his back against the wall again here. I'm going to actually try to keep him in the center. Pro tip, okay. When you're up against this guy, try to keep him in the center. That way when he uses the beam, you can do a full 360 to run around him. Two more times. There we go. Okay, as I was saying, that way you can do a full 360 to run around him. Otherwise, when his back is against the wall, you're pretty much guaranteed to take a whole bunch of damage. And that skill is so long that even if you swap in your two other characters, chances are one of them is going to take a beating or die, right? And to be honest, you need all your characters to stay alive when you're up against Danos because sometimes... Just the position of where he is, you have absolutely no choice but to tag out, right? If you try to solo the whole thing throughout the whole fight, uh, it's going to be a rough one. That was rough. That was rough, boys. That was 20. But at least we got some CCF, boys. A double CCF drop. That's what I'm talking about. But 20 was way difficult. Way more difficult than 49 on 45. Just goes to show you, man. Thanos is no joke. I know what? It took us just as long, if not longer, to complete this thing. Anyways, man, that is it for this one. Just wanted to give y'all a little bit of gameplay using my boy Pietro. Honestly, I think the next time you guys see him, we're going to push him to level 70 and test him out again. But that's it for this one, man. Thanks for watching. I love y'all. Peace.